welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and as always it's lovely to have you with me today. Thank you for choosing Storytime with me. Today we're going to be reading a story all about a witch and a cat. Now it's not Megan Mogg, I know we've read lots of exciting stories with Megan Mogg involved. It's a li little bit different today. I'm not too sure what the name of the witch is or the name of the cat. Maybe we'll find out. But I do know that this story involves shapes and we love shapes, don't we? Oh, the shapes everywhere. Everywhere you look, you can always see a shape. So the title of this story is Scissors and Needle. Now you need scissors and needle if you're going to be doing some sewing. Mm, I wonder if that title is a clue for this story. Well, Let's find out, shall we? Here we go, scissors and needle. The witch needs a house. What can she do? Snip, snip, snip. She cuts out triangles and squares. Stitch, stitch, stitch. She stitches them together. What a clever witch. Now she has a house for herself and her cat. What a gorgeous house it is, isn't it? It's called patchwork. You can patch different shapes together by sewing them with a needle and thread. She cuts out circles and squares. Snip, snip, snip. She stitches them together. Stitch, stitch, stitch. An orange tree, an apple tree. Oh, what a clever witch. He certainly is. She cuts out triangles and circles. Snip, snip, snip. Stitch, stitch, stitch. She stitches them together. I wonder what she's gonna make. Do you know? Oh, she could be, yeah. Good idea. Oh. She has made a fish pool. Oh, fancy that. Oh, that will go nicely in the garden with the trees, won't it? The witch needs one more thing. Snip, snip, snip. She cuts out circles and triangles and squares. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Oh, she has made a little witch friend. Oh lovely. The two little witches have fun. Snip snip, they make moons. Stitch stitch, they make stars. Wow, they clever. I could do things like that. When they are asleep, the cat gets the scissors and the needle. Ooh. What's cat up to? What's he gonna do? Should we find out? Okay. Oh, in the morning, there are cats everywhere. <laughs> there they are. That's the end of the story. Oh, well, weren't they clever, witch and cat? Using those lovely different shapes to create a house, a tree, pond, a friend, and more cats. Thank you for listening to my story today. I'm sure I will see you really soon. Until we do, remember, stay safe, keep washing those hands, very important, and oh, as equally as important as washing those hands is to keep smiling. Bye for now.